hundred dollars and you're gonna split the proceeds. Yes. Okay. And he took it upon himself to keep all of the money at Christmas time, knowing that I needed that money to buy Christmas gifts for my children. Okay. And explain to the judge the working conditions. What working conditions were you under? We worked during the dead of winter, 14, 15, 16 degrees. I worked out there wearing three and four pairs of pants. How many, how many days did it take you two to do this edition? It took about a month to do it. One month? One month, because it And y'all got only $600. Yes, ma'am. OK, I'm still trying to work with that. Uh, Me too. When you. You want your time up there, OK? Mm -hmm. You're not helping yourself. Mr. Simpson, okay. do you want to have any ability to be believed here today? Do you? Well, if she keeps talking, no, she'll... No, 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 no. I'm not asking you if she keeps talking. Uh, uh, you walk into this room understanding that she's got a different story than you. If you guys agree, you wouldn't be here. A grown person true. can that's sit true. there and listen and let me make the decision about who's credible, who's telling the truth. So far, you're not helping yourself here. You with me? Yes, ma'am. I, I assume you asked him for the money. He got paid directly? Yes, I asked him several times. And what did he say? Each time it was a different excuse. I had an unfortunate circumstance. My girlfriend put the money in the bank. She wrote checks on it. I have to wait until she gets paid. <laughs> My children and I had a rotten Christmas, thanks to Wayman. Um, are you still in construction work? Yes, I am. That's a rather unusual profession for a woman, isn't it? Yes, not? it is. And I chose to do it. I love it. I love being out there. Okay. Ms. Gonzalez, let's wrap During this up. During the time that you were building this shed with Wayman, did his girlfriend ever go out there and help you? No, she didn't. Mm -hmm. I saw her one time, and that was before construction even started. And were you ever late for the job? I was late twice, once for a medical reason and once because of a previous appointment, which he knew beforehand. I was never a half a day late. It was only two hours. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Williams. And I thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, Miss Austin. Good morning. May I call you Sharon, please? Sure. Sharon, um, you met my client during construction school, am I correct? That's correct. We became friends. And at the time that you were in construction school, would I also be correct that you had never performed construction work? That's correct. And once my client, it was my client, who knew how to put up a shed. You did not know, did Your you? Your client didn't know how to put up a shed either. OK. Well, neither one of you knew? Neither one of us knew. Well, how'd but you I get... knew more than he did. Well, how did you oh get it up? God. It took a while, oh but it was a learning God. experience. Mm -hmm. So there, oh so God. let me, uh, just one second. Sir, I represent you. Please be quiet. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that, Mr. Wiggins. And thank you, uh, Your Honor. Now, it, you've got here on the stand, and Oh. He's and when you were asked, what was this all about? You said it was, was about a punk with no conscience. That was That's your words, correct. correct? Now, uh, would I be correct to say that punk with no conscience, that's inappropriate, don't you think so? No, I don't. It okay. fits him perfectly. OK. Now, isn't it a fact, ma'am, that there came a time that once Wayman told you he was not going to pay you, that you called and you curse Wayman out. I sure did. Okay. And he deserved every bit of it. Okay. And did you also threaten to kill Wayman's mother? I threatened to beat him with my orange hammer that he teased me about. Okay. Now, <laughs> with your course. what? All my tools match, Your Honor. I have a bright orange tool set, and uh, I'm proud of it. And he okay. teased me about it. Well, let me ask you this in final questions here. You, you say that your kids had a horrible Christmas and Am I correct? Yes. And it was because of Wayman and $200, correct? It was because of Wayman and $300 that he chose not to pay me during the Christmas holidays. Well, ma'am, isn't it a fact that you also had a part-time job? Yes, I did have a okay. part-time job. Now, did that job bring in any income to you? It sure did, and it also bought him and his girlfriend Christmas gifts. I bought him a beard and mustache tra trimmer, and I bought his girlfriend a mirror. And that was stolen. You bought this for Wayman Mr. after Simpson. Wayman said stolen. that he was Mr. not going to pay Mr. you. Mr. Simpson, no, Wayman what exactly is Please. your problem? I don't have one. You, oh, yes, you do. <laughs> You've got a big one. Joe, take him out of here. I'm going to put up with that. Let's go, Mr. Simpson. This way. Over here. When power for a construction job. Mr. Williams, why don't we wrap this up? Sure. And my, my, my final question to you is simply this, that uh, it is your testimony that you had a part-time job and you bought <clears throat> gifts for him. Now, 
You, did you buy these gifts for him after he refused to pay you? No, I bought them during the time we were still building. I try to buy a lot of things ahead of time. Well, final question. And you saying that you bought gifts for him, his girlfriend and everything, but yet you get on the stand here and you tell this judge that your kids went without gifts and you had bought gifts for Wayman and his, and his girlfriend? My children are seven years old and my oldest is 17. They have no need for beauty supply product. That's what I got him. Working in that whoa, store, whoa, wait, I got whoa, a discount. Whoa, 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 That does confuse <laughs> me a little bit. He didn't give you the $300 that you were owed. You didn't have enough money for your kid's presents. Why did you buy him a present? I didn't just buy him a gift. I worked in a beauty supply store where I got a huge discount on discontinued merchandise. Mm -hmm. The trimmer might have cost me $5, but mm -hmm. it was something that I bought maybe a month or two, I'm with you. you know, ahead of time. You. Okay, He I mentioned that he wanted a trimmer for Christmas. I'm That's with you. why I got well, it. Thank you. Question. I have no further oh, questions. Good enough. Thank you very much, Ms. Alston. You may step down. Um, Joe, <laughs> why don't we see if Mr. Simpson can behave a little better? Sure. Bring him back in here. Let him have a quick second to talk to his attorney. And uh, maybe we can proceed. You hurt yourself big time out there. I know. Okay. Actually, I didn't, but okay. Okay, just... Answer, answer the questions and you'll be all right. It'll be your turn to tell your side, okay? Yes. Mr. Simpson, welcome back. Yes, ma'am. I'll ask you to step straight forward to the witness stand. Mm -hmm. All right. I will remind you that you have been sworn in and are under oath. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Williams, you may proceed whenever you're ready, sir. And I thank you. Uh, Mr. Simpson, do you yes, have any objection to me calling you Wayman? No. Uh, Wayman, can you uh, tell the court what is this all about? Yes, sir. I can tell you what it's about. It's about a woman that wants something for nothing. Okay. This is a female that she would come to work, she would come, make an excuse, leave, okay? Did she ever do any work at all? Okay, this is what she would do, okay? She would hold it while I hammer it. She would stand there and tell me when it's straight. She would stand there and, cause it was freezing. It was freezing cold outside. She was right. It was about 16 degrees outside and it was freezing. And I was up there hammering, nailing, and she would stand there because she couldn't even hold a hammer. Mr. Williams. Let me finish up here. Did you, did, 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 uh, did someone other than Sharon assist you in comp the completion of this building? Yes, yes, sir. Can my you tell the judge my about My girlfriend. That? My girlfriend would come when Sharon wasn't there, okay? My girlfriend would come in, and she would come, and she would help me. Actually, she did more work than Sharon did. No, fine. Okay, let's wind this up, Mr. Uh, Williams. And I thank you. Did she ever threaten and curse at your yes, family? Yes, sir. Can you yes, tell sir. the court about that? Yes, sir, I can. Because she called me on my cell phone one day I was at work. And she told me that she was gonna, she was gonna kill my fat, light-skinned mama if I don't give her her money, is what she said. And yes, I do have a tape of it. It's on my machine. I have no further questions, and thank you, Your Honor. When construction job. Ms. Gonzalez? Thank you. All right. Um, so if I understand your testimony correctly, mm -hmm. Sharon was out there in this bitter cold, mm -hmm. acting like a popsicle, just shaking. Because exactly. she wasn't doing anything. No. She was just out there. No. No? No. She didn't she... do anything other than what I just told Your Honor. Okay, so she would hold this piece exactly. of wood for you and shake. That's all. Because it was bitter cold. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. You did offer to... Pay her $200, did. did you not? I did. When? I'm not denying that. When, when, when did At you the completion of this job. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And why, if her work was so unsatisfactory, you didn't say midstream, hey, Sharon, I've had enough of you. Get out. I'm going to get my girlfriend in to help me. This female, as you re refer the, to her the as. The truth of the matter, like she said, we were friends. Okay. okay. And the truth, I did know what her financial situation was. Okay, but after I had been out there in the freezing cold, you can call the guy and ask him, the guy that I built it with, for. My question. You can call him and sir, ask him. Sir, Mr. Sir, Simpson, sir, sir, Mr. Simpson, Mr. Simpson you're not answering her question. What was what the question? question? No, now see, now Mr. Simpson, question? come here. Turn around, look, turn look around. Look. Turn around. <laughs> now see, when, you don't, when you're in the middle of answering a question and you don't know what the question is, that, that speaks volumes. <laughs> that speaks volumes about your listening ability and your willingness to cooperate with what's going on here. Well, actually... No, no, well, actually, nothing. <laughs> Be quiet and listen to that woman's question and answer the question. Okay. The question was, mm -hmm. 
So we're straight. Mm -hmm. Why, if she was giving you such unsatisfactory performance during these 10 days, mm -hmm. wouldn't show up sometimes, would show up late other times, and just sat there or held things for you, you didn't say, Sharon, I'm sorry, I need help, get out of here, I'm sorry, we're not gonna pay you. Why? Why didn't I do that? Yes. Because she's a friend of mine. Oh. But this is the same friend now that you're cheating out of $300? Is that what friendship is all about? Um, actually, ma'am, um... Yes? $300? When did the friendship end? $300 I mean... after she threatened my mother. I oh. still I still came over her house, like, numerous times. So why didn't you pay her, then? Because she you came over her house. It. She doesn't deserve did a Did she dime. give you that Christmas present? Did she give you a mustache trimmer? Ain't that and some it... junk? How no, you gonna I don't want junk. How you gonna buy me a, a, a gift and you ain't bought your kids none? Have a seat, mister. Have a seat, mister. Just Mr. one last question. question. No, have a seat. Have a okay. seat. He's all done. I'm not gonna have you disrespect this court like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll take a moment to uh, deliberate, and we'll be, I'll be back with a verdict. All rise. How can he work? But you did well. I'm very happy to represent you, and I think that you did articulate. And I, understand, I think the judge can understand the emotional aspects of Well, the truth of the matter is, the, the judge, I, I feel the judge really didn't let me say what I had to say. The female. That female was like a species all of its own. That female. I We're speaking. The judge had enough of them. Yeah. All rise. Court is back in session. With the exception of the litigants, everyone may be seated. Normally, when I step off the bench and go into my chambers, I'm fighting with a calculator, or I'm, I'm adding things up, or looking through documents. All I did when I sat back there this time was to get in touch with my inner being. <laughs> and I did that so that I would not allow my irritation and aggravation with the childish, nonsensical, nonsensical behavior of Mr. Simpson to influence the rational, reasonable, fair and just result that this man is allowed to have despite the fact that he behaved so badly in here. I'm going to give you some advice, Mr. Simpson. One is to look at people who are talking to you, okay? <laughs> the other one is, if you ever find yourself in court again, which may or may not happen, I don't know. Mm -hmm. How do you know? <laughs> or in life in general, when you're trying to conduct business and have yourself be believed and have people think that you're right about something, what you need to do is to behave in a business-like fashion and not like a person who is not in control of his faculties. You see what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. It is difficult. Judges are supposed to be fair and make decisions based upon evidence and fact. But we're human beings. That's true. And people out in the world don't even work that way. They just get mad and do whatever they want to do to you. That's true. I work real hard. Or to your mother. See oh. that? You don't get it. Yeah, just I get it. No, you don't Mr. get Simpson, it. If you get quiet, it, you wouldn't please. have said a word to me just then. No, man. You, you, you don't Mr. Get Simpson, it. Don't, well, be quiet. Me, no, no, Mr. Simpson, no, no. Sit you down. cannot talk to the judge. The judge is talking. I tried hard. I really did. I, because Mr. I Simpson, tried hard because be I always believe that when you come in, to, uh, come in before me, the little quiet. money the that I give you doesn't mean mouth anything, mouth. that you ought to come out a little wiser than you walked in. But some people you can't help. My mother told me that. So here we go. <laughs> this is what I was, this is what I came up with. Or, 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 you know, based upon his behavior here today. Consequently, I believe you, as opposed to him, that you did the work that you're owed $300, and that indeed is the judgment in your favor. It is so ordered. Thank you. All rise. All right. This is what you came here for. Justice. The judge has to look at all of the evidence. She didn't look at had, nothing. Well, I think she, she looked at absolutely nothing. But she had to get past the emotional aspect. She had to let it. me talk. Yeah. If she'd let me talk, she would have found out that, first of all, a man is 